What is going on guys? In today's video, I wanted to talk about why and how you should be working out in season. So first we're gonna tackle the why, then we're gonna talk about how, and then we're gonna go over a sample day and things I would change from an off-season program to an in-season program. I'll give you a little sample day. But the first thing is the why. There are two main reasons. The first one is injury prevention. Let's say you just spend a ton of time in the off season, building some stability, working on your weaknesses, working on imbalances. When you get to your sport, let's say you're a pitcher, for example, when you get to your sport, now all of those imbalances are gonna get doubled down on. You're throwing a ton of pitches, or if you're just a baseball player, you're taking a ton of swings. We're now exploring those imbalances again, where you're just overusing one side of the body. We wanna make sure we are still strengthening the opposite sides, which is again, hopefully something you were doing in your off season. So that is reason number one. Reason number two, and probably the more important reason is, let's say you just spent four, six, eight, ten 10 months building up to your season. Let's say your season is three months long. If you build all this size, strength, spa, uh, power, speed, everything like that, you built all that up, you're now fresh and feeling great in the beginning of your season, you're performing your best. If you don't work out at all during your season, so now we're at the tail end of the season, games leading up to playoffs or the playoffs themselves, and you haven't worked out at all, you are at your weakest. You just lost most of that speed and that power and probably that size when your games are the most important. That is when we want to be performing our best at the end of our season. If you haven't worked out at all, you are kind of starting from ground zero in a sense if your season is around three months. So those are the two main reasons we want to be working out, need to be working out in season, I should say. It is necessary. Need to be working out in season is to make sure we don't get hurt and then to be, form, to be, be forming our best throughout the entire season, most importantly, at the end of it. All right, so now we're gonna head to the whiteboard and I'm gonna tell you guys how you should adjust your training in season and then I'll give you your sample day. So how do we work out in season? The main thing that we need to do is pull back on the volume. So we're gonna pull back potentially on the amount of reps that we're doing, the amount of sets that we're doing, and the days that we're working out, or some sort of combination. So let's say we're working out four days, maybe now we only go twice, especially since we have a lot of games and practices to go to. If we were doing five sets of something, maybe we only do three. If we were doing eight, set, uh, eight reps of something, maybe now we're only doing five. Something along those lines in some sort of combination. We just wanna pull back the volume. We still wanna keep our strength in there and our explosive exercise in there because that's gonna be the stuff that we wanna maintain, which really isn't that hard to maintain, even if you are going to the gym a couple times a week and just doing a couple sets. So just keep that in mind is don't be afraid to go heavy and do explosive exercises. It's mainly the volume that we wanna pull back on so we're not doing too much damage to the muscles and not sore going into practices and games. Okay, so let's talk about a sample day. Like I said before, let's say you were working out four times a week. Now we're gonna pull it back to two. So I'm just gonna give you a two day sample week. If you're in season, that's probably all you need to maintain your strength. So let's say we have day one here. Day one and then day two. I'm gonna make these full body days because that's what I usually do with athletes anyway. The first one we're gonna go, let's just say front squat. We're gonna do box jumps as well to get some explosiveness in there. We'll go Bulgarian split squats, single arm dumbbell row, dumbbell bench press. And we'll leave it at that for now. At the end, I'll usually have some core work, do whatever you want, you can still do that. So front squats, let's say to build some strength and size, we were doing four sets of five in our off season. Now, we could probably still keep the four sets in there. Now we're gonna go down to two reps. So four, five, two. You can still keep the heavy weight in there, it's okay. Box jumps, we could basically leave the same as we were doing. Let's say we were doing three sets of five, let's do three sets of three, okay? Again, I have videos where I talk about how uh, plyometric exercises usually get overdone. Three sets of three, just keep that springiness in there, okay? Split squats, let's say all of these exercises, just to keep it simple, we were doing four sets of eight. That's a pretty decent amount of, uh, uh, amount of volume. Now we're gonna go down three sets of five of each one. Three by five, 
three by five. Same situation right there, okay? This is a great in-season workout. It really won't be that much. Um, if it ends up being too much, then just pull it back a little bit. Listen to your body. Everybody's gonna be a little different. So now day two, okay? Let's say we hit deadlifts. We did broad jump. We did walking lunges. We did chin-ups. And maybe some shoulder press. Again, I'm not gonna go crazy. I could basically take exactly what I just did here. Four by two, three by three, three by five, three by five, three by five. And right there, you've got a sample week for in season. You can play around with this a little bit, okay? You might be able to do a couple more sets here. If you're going um, really speedy or heavy reps, you might be able to do like five or six sets, five or six sets here as well. I wouldn't really necessarily play around with this too much. This is really where you're gonna have to make the big adjustment, all right? This is the type of stuff where you're doing kind of your bodybuilding work. You're usually gonna get a little sore and we gotta pull back. If you're a baseball player, you don't need to be repping out five sets to 10 bench rest. If you're gonna to play tomorrow, your shoulders are gonna be sore. Just get a little work in there, just a little bit of maintenance and you will be just fine in season. You need to be working out in season. You should be working out in season and it is absolutely safe to work out in season. Guys, thank you so much for sticking around. If you enjoyed this type of workout or this type of content, please give it a thumbs up. If you like this type of content, make sure to give me a subscribe so you can stay up to date for when I'm releasing videos coming up. What I want you guys to do on this video is go ahead and comment below. Did you like this video? Did you like this type of content? What type of content do you guys want to see from me? What questions do you have for me? I wanna make videos that you guys are interested in, so I do listen and I will make videos based on that. Right? And I will see you guys next time.